nowadays we don't like oh prove it but when i'm saying someone's racist to me you're like oh do you are you sure that was it um and constantly having to explain my life and like for me even in my own job you know definitely i demand better because i shouldn't have to do that uh next slide so what are the consequences to you um so if i'm being honest like poor mental health like is a serious consequence um when i started my job this year um I had finished therapy, um, but because of all like um, the small like racist incidents I experienced over my time here, like um, I had to go back to therapy to help me like deal with um, the racist thing that people were saying and the gaslighting that came with it. People are like, "Tomorrow you're being too sensitive. Tomorrow you're not strong enough. Um, tomorrow I don't think what you're experiencing is how they meant it." But I I know what I meant. Um, and so like having to deal with that all the time and second guessing like is this racism, is this not racism, um, being overworked and undervalued um, constantly, I'll say something is an issue, I'll raise it as an issue and it's not until the white person in my team discovers that then is that issue an actual issue um, and it just says you're not really listening to me even when I'm telling you the truth. Um, distraction from actually achieving the work you set out to do. I sit on a lot of committees and talk to a lot of people who expect a lot of explanation um, of all the problems that we have at this uni and like tomorrow we want a solution. But my job is not to provide that solution, that's their solution. Um, and my time could be better used somewhere else doing actual work that I care about. Um, and like I talked about before, the double bind of constantly like, someone has said this racist thing, like, do I have the energy to call them out on it today? Like, and usually that's no. Usually I'm so tired by my daily job, like I don't want to have to call out someone who has so much more power over me, like someone who oppresses me. Um, and so, like, you know, is it worth it? And the consequences of them letting that slide. And um, so there's so much consequences, and it's actually really tiring and exhausting. And often when you raise those concerns, like no one's listening um, and usually no one's really there to help you apart from like the black women in your own community. So uh, if you don't know my job, I'm a student engagement ambassador um, and I do work around decolonizing, not all of it's decolonizing. Um, so I had like three questions yesterday, I was thinking about this talk. Decolonizing from within it, is it worth it, should it be left to us? Um, really hot take, but I don't think anyone should be doing any decolonizing work from inside their own university. <coughs> it's a very laboring task, um, and it's not on your own terms, um, which means, again, you are um, likely to be exploited, you are likely to have to dredge up your oppression um, at the will of other people because <coughs> you're not doing your job. Um, is it worth it? Yes. It's nice to know that, like, the students who will receive the education that you are decolonizing will appreciate it um, and will see themselves represented um, for, for possibly the first time. So, but should it be left to us? No, it's not my job to sort out um, the oppression that someone else is putting on me, actually. It's that other person's job. My friend um, always says, you know, racism is not a person of color's problem. It's a, a, a white people's problem to deal with. Um, so, Maybe that's something for us to all think about, but maybe I could be wrong. And self-care, so uh, I've been thinking about this a lot. <coughs> Maxine Waters, the babe, reclaiming my time, uh, is my new slogan, and my energy in my life. So currently, I actually I work on a traffic light system, so I've been getting really stressed out, um, and it just lets people know whether I want to engage with them or not. If you're green, I want to talk to you. Yellow, if I know you, I'll talk to you. Red, I don't really want to talk to you at all. Um, and I find that really empowering because it means I don't have to engage with people at all and I don't have to explain that I don't want to engage with you. So reclaiming my time. Therapy. You just got to talk to people. If you're struggling, like talk, talk to a therapist. Uh, I think it's one of the best things I did for my life and my mental health to just unpack things and get the support I need. And removing myself from situations and like picking, picking certain battles. Like, Someone being racist, cool, I don't have to deal with it. It's not, it's not my responsibility. Today, today I don't have to deal with it unless I really want to. Like, it's not every day like, you have to engage and put yourself out there to usually not be listened to. So unless 
I feel like someone's gonna learn and grow from something that I'm not engaging um, in that battle. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of power in kind of reclaiming your life, your time, your story, um, and your energy for yourself and not being exploited for things that, um, or gifts, as some, someone said to me this week, your, your life and your story is a gift. So why am I gifting things to people who do appreciate what I do or what I have to give to them and I'll only gift it to them unless they're willing to listen um, and act on the things I want to be changed. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening to my talk.